Yo, 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 Muddy Waters Podcast. This your boy Shaq Sims. And man, I'm here right now with a special guest, man. You know, I'm continuing my theme, man, of um, you know, interviewing guys and 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 people, you know, from either behind the wall or guys who've been to prison, just came home from prison or have been home for a while and served a long stretch in prison, man. But um this episode right here is is special to me. Um Cause it's one of my guys, man. One of my childhood friends. One of the niggas that I grew like that I did a lot of dirt with, man. Like you know, did dirt with, you know, uh, got into shit with, you know, um, and 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 kind of became a man with, you know. Um, unfortunately, you know, he's behind the wall. You know, uh, he's coming home though. You know, he won't be he won't be back there too long. But um, you know, without further ado, man, I want to introduce my nigga Vondo Vani. What's up, my boy? What's up, bro? How you, man? You know me, I'm cooling, man. Maintain it. Hey, look, though, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Before, before you really tell me about this, I went tuned in. I really tuned in to your podcast, though, bro. I'm really proud of you, though. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I done told you that many times, too, though. I appreciate that, dog. I appreciate sure, that, bro. dog. You doing your thing, my boy. For sure, man. You know, I got to, man. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be the hood, um, the hood Oprah around this motherfucker, man. Hey, look though, you got it though. You feel me? I'm behind you 100. percent For sure, my boy. I appreciate sure. you, dog. For real. You know, we we all came a long way, bro. Like from where we started at years and year ten plus years ago Thanks. to where we are now. Niggas came a long way, bro. So you know, I appreciate that. That mean a lot, bro. You already know it, boy. For sure. So let let's get into um let's get into your story, bro. Like you know, let let's take the people back to the beginning, cause every 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 story has an origin. You know what I mean? So let's take the people back to the beginning, bro. Where you from? You already know shit. Columbia, South Carolina, the northeast side of town. Okay, it's North Baby. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about real North Baby. I'm talking about. From Percyville Road to the Reserves, Deck of Boulevard, Woodfield. You feel I'm talking about? Yeah, all through they passed them all for real. And how would you say it was growing? Like you know, of course we know how it is on the north or whatever. But a lot of folks don't know how it is on the north. Like tell them how it is on the north. Like for you, how well how it was for you growing up. I mean, to be honest, I'm keeping all the way honey. Like I jumped, I jumped off the porch really late than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I say around about 14, 15 when I jumped off the porch, you feel me? But the only reason I say I jumped off late because my brother, which is everybody in those streets, you know what I'm saying? They call him Gado right now, you know what I'm saying? Streets, you know what I'm saying? Fella G, you know what I'm saying? They was already off the porch, but streets already had in his head, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, he really ain't want that life for me, you feel me? But me seeing him do what he do, you already know that's your older brother, so you know you want to follow his footsteps. Yes. Oh, damn, so streets tried to keep you out of the streets. Real, that's how I feel like every time I try to ride like him, JJ, you know what I'm saying? Quan, you got to think me and Quan's the same age, but you know, Quan was already off the porch. So, all them, I see them boys going to team parties, going to clubs, you know what I'm saying? Doing this, doing that. I'm like, shit, I want to go too. He he was on some shit like, nah, you ain't ride with me or hell nah, hell no, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know what I'm saying? When they pull up four, five cars deep, I'm like, shit, I'm riding with y'all. They're like, hell no, you got to ask Yuri. I'm like streets, man. We go. He's like, hell no, man. Keep your ass in the house. I'm like, dang, you feel me? So mm. it was, you know what I'm saying? It's like really my right hand man. His name was Sean. You know what I'm saying? My right hand man. Me and him got so cool. Really, me and him used to ride bikes to team parties. So everybody going to the Kia house and you know what I'm saying? We was riding bikes down that motherfucker just to be with everybody. Damn. And what were you into back then, bro? Were you into like street shit or were you just into like? Just regular gamer, kids, school bro. shit. You feel me? I was a gamer, bro. I wouldn't I would say I wasn't in the school shit. I was already, I was bad as fuck in school. I ain't gonna lie, but I was in the house playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Smoking weed, playing the game, chilling. You feel me? Mm. And what games were you playing? Like sports games, shooters? Oh, no. You know, I'm on that Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas off top. <laughs> <laughs> For, sure. For sure. You know, niggas ended up living a San Andreas lifestyle that, like, eventually. Yeah. But everybody always talking about the North Day. When they looked at the North, they looked at, like, they say the Summit and Parkway, you know what I'm saying? They, that's why I'm up and look at, oh, y'all rich, y'all this and that. But I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Those, I fuck with niggas from the Parkway, you know what I'm saying? Like Smoke Gambino, shout out Smoke, shout out Freddie P. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with them boys a long way, you feel me? But 
we from the reserves. Like, you got to tell me who you got to come down to nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking mm-hmm. about the reserves, Woodfield, Percival, you know what I'm saying? Like, the motherfuckers might look like, oh, them shit is nice, but them shit is really the trenches, you feel me? Like, same shit motherfuckers was doing, we was doing, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas was, y'all niggas was in the trenches, like, like a motherfucker, bro, and like, that shit really is not the suburbs at all, bro. Like no the reserves, reason. Woodfield, that shit is not the, the chimneys, bro. We lived in the chimneys, bro. And I was like, I was in the fourth grade, bro. There's no lie. My motherfucking mama had just had my little sister. My sister was one or two. Niggas knocked on my door, tied my stepdaddy up, pistol whipped him, and took all his bread, bro. And they was doing that in the neighborhood, like just knocking on folks' doors, bro. And they eventually ended up getting caught or whatever, but them niggas was doing that shit. Like that's how they was eating. You know, they was it was like a whole week. They was just robbing folks, bro. Tying niggas up. So that 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 area is not no 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 bullshit area. So when niggas think about the north, they think about the suburbs, but that shit is not the motherfucking suburbs at all. Especially, especially not the part we from. Mm-mm. Hell no. What was your upbringing like? Like what was your family situation like? I mean, you know it's me, my brother, you know what I'm saying, got on my little sister, you know what I'm saying, mom, dudes, it wasn't no father, I mean, you know what I'm saying, my mom was mad one time, but he, he, he wasn't no good, you know what I'm saying, so basically it was just us three, you know what I'm saying, no father feel like, I ain't never met my dad, you know what I'm saying, my brother dad been locked up since he was young, I think he in Rikers Island or somewhere in New York, you know what I'm saying, he got, he supposed to be coming home sooner, but he had 25 years, and mm. my sister dad, my sister dad was really he was day, but he wasn't there. So it was just really us three, you know what I'm saying? Like, How did that make you feel, like, growing up without a father? Or was it, like, status quo? Because a lot of people in the areas that, you know, we come from didn't have fathers and shit. So was it normal, or did you feel a way about it? I mean, I could say I, I grew into it, you know, so I really went tripping, you know what I'm saying? I have, like I said, really, my brother was my father figure, and my uncle, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, my uncle had just passed. He was my father figure, so... I mean, I really wasn't tripping, you know what I'm saying? It's just like shit normal, like my mama did everything, you know what I'm saying? So Father's Day, my mama gets something, Mother's Day, she gets something, you feel me? Like, I see my mama work two, three jobs just to make sure we had the ladies in. You know what I'm saying? She did that. That's why I respect her more, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it took effect a little bit, but, you know what I'm saying? I really can't blame him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because he probably was passed down, you know? Yeah. Him not you know being there, his pops probably wasn't there for him. No excuse, though, but. You know it's cute. But it kind of make the it, it kind of um make the blow a little lighter. You know what I mean when you think about it and shit like that. Like you know, with us growing up, dog, like I know for me, we ju- I jumped off the porch around 14, 15, you know what I'm saying? And shit, when I jumped off the porch, I jumped off the porch on the north, you know, uh mm-hmm. going to team parties, fighting, uh and shit like that. But when you jumped off the porch, you jumped off the porch, head motherfucking first, no helmet, straight to the motherfucking deep end of the pool, bro. Like it, it was like that, bro. It was really <laughs> like, like I say, my brother, he really, I try to feel like he really tried keeping up the street. So for me, jumping off the porch, like it was like I had a point to prove. Cause you gotta think, like my brother, fella, JJ, you know what I'm saying, Quan, all the boys know, you know what I'm saying, they going to team parties, they knocking shit out, you know what I'm saying, they kind of that, that pistol play, niggas playing with that pistol, so you know what I'm saying, like, me personally, I was never a fighter, you know what I'm saying, like, if I got a fight, I'll fight, but, you know what I'm saying, when I got that pistol in my hand, it was a, you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, I am keeping keep hunting, I felt like I was invincible, like, you know what I'm saying, like, so, mm-hmm. when the motherfucker put that pistol in my hand, like, I'll never forget who was that. What's that shit? What was that team probably called behind the uh, Columbia Mall? Um, VIP. VIP. I never forget me and my my right hand man Rashawn. We rode bikes down there. Me, him, and his brother named Beans. We rode bikes down that motherfucker. Put our bikes behind the trash can. When we got to the line, like we really used to save our money. You know what I'm saying? We was hustling, selling. That's what we were selling me back then. So we was really saving up our money just to go to the team parts, get fresh, go to the team park. Yeah. So when when everybody's like got over my brother. Fell in, I'm like, you know, what the fuck y'all doing here? You know what I'm saying? We go in the club. You know what I'm saying? I'm green. I'm new to this shit. So we get in there. I see like different sets. You got to think it was, it was Hollywood Hills, the HBI boys, goddamn country boys. You know what I'm saying? Zoe Life. That's when them boys from, you know what I'm saying? The Bedrock was called. They sell Zoe some shit. It was mm-hmm. all them. You know what I'm saying? I never forget. Goddamn. They played that, uh, that Nook If You Book. 
you know what I'm saying? Niggas got to jumping around. So she and me, I'm jumping around at everybody else. I just see JJ knocking nigga out. Bam. I'm talking about boom, knocking nigga out. So I'm like, what the fuck? Niggas get a fight in there. We fight. Boom, 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 boom. We leave outside the club. You got to think. We rode bikes down there. So them boys got in there. They hop in the car and leave out. We ride bikes down the goddamn street. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so we shit. really on some shit. Like, I'm on some shit. Like, oh, man, these boys about to see us. They about to shoot at us. All type of shit. But I'm saying, I'm glad to say ain't nothing happened. We made it back home. But, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. When I seen that shit, that shit excited me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, yeah, I'm every team party, we in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. so you were itching for the... Were you itching, like, once you got that first taste of that drama, you was, like, addicted and hooked to it from there? Basically, it was also shit like, when we was young, it was like, you gotta get strikes. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Motherfucker wanna know, like, you know what I'm saying? So everybody like, oh yeah, you gotta get strikes. You wanna fight, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, get strikes and shit. I'm like, shit, I'm I'm really just jumping off the porch. Yeah, motherfuckers don't wanna ride. Motherfuckers don't want me to ride with them all type of shit. So I'm like, I'm trying to get my strikes up. So I never forget I bought a motherfucking, it was a a, a 32 revolver, nine shot. I bought that shit for my cousin. When I bought that first gun, I'm talking about it was action. I tried to shoot any and everything moving to try to get strikes up. You feel me? Mm, so you was actually trying to hit something. Fuck yeah, I wasn't doing no faking. Like, the crazy part of it was niggas started respecting that. Like, motherfuckers see you, oh, Vonda, that's all you hear. Oh, that's little, at first, of course, I called myself Vonda, you know, I was Vonda. Mm-hmm. So motherfuckers like, yeah, boy, Vonda gonna shoot something, boy, Vonda, yeah, Vonda gonna ride, fuck that, Vonda ride with me. So now it's go for me, like, motherfuckers like, hell no, ask Gato. So motherfuckers like, yeah, come on, Vonda, you ride with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I basically, like, I was just really trying to get my strikes up. And this 2008, bro. This 2007, 2008, bro. Like, if it's 20 niggas, it's, it may be two guns out of 20 niggas. Facts. And you got to think about like, <laughs> 30, motherfuckers carrying 32s and 380s. Motherfuckers had high points. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit scraps. Facts. Motherfuckers riding around with shotguns. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Fact, bro. Might, might, might fuck around and blow your own head off trying to shoot oh, at a nigga, dude. bro. But shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit used to be fun, boy. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Like, it was so crazy, bro. Like, the shit we was doing. For one, dog, we could have really killed somebody. Somebody really could have died. And two, we really wasn't thinking about the consequences, bro. We really wasn't, bro. We'll do some shit, fight in the club. It'll be a shootout or whatever. And niggas will go to sleep, wake up the next day, and just laugh about the shit, bro. And be ready for the next weekend. Man, ready to do that shit again, bro. That shit yeah. crazy. Liquor fucked our minds up, too, bro. You got to think, it was what we was on, you know what I'm saying? Recipes JP, it was on that, that Eastside Juice, that E&J, you know what I'm saying? At Paul Masson. Cheap liquor again, fucked up. Man. Four locos, bootleggers. Yeah, I'm talking about whatever they take to get drunk. Faded. And we getting just drunk in 20 it. minutes. 20 minutes just to go goddamn. We might fuck around and fight each other before we get to the club. Fat rip shirts, bust lips, and all, bro. <laughs> Word. Facts. And if you don't fight, you're getting your ass beat up. Oh, yeah. You know you're going to get that V off top. Off the rip. Off the muscle, yeah. bro. And don't motherfuckers be. already know, like, you getting a V, JJ, fella, goddamn, Lenzo, Snoop, everybody going to be on your ass. So you like, goddamn. Everybody already know, like, motherfuckers don't want to fight no JJ. No. Hell no. Not at all, bro. I don't give a damn if you was a bitch. If you was one of the bros and you was expected to fight and JJ was around, you was going to fight. Off top. You got to. You got to. Because JJ going to knock your ass out. I'm talking about one hit and quit and shit. Man, bro. Crazy shit, bro. I never seen a nigga go toe-to-toe with JJ and not fall, bro. Like, on some club shit, never in my life. Yeah, Never in my life seen it, bro. Never seen a nigga go toe to toe with JJ. Like JJ hit a nigga and he don't fall. Never seen it. You not gonna see? I'm talking about probably to this day, man. <laughs> that motherfucker, they boy, that nigga, they son. Yeah. Man, laying niggas at 17, 18, bro. Laying niggas flat, bro. Man. So, so you know, you going to team parties at this time? You know, 14, 15, 16. You know. You clapping that shit. Like, when was the first time you actually, like, shot at a motherfucker, if you can remember? Like, the first time you actually aimed that bitch at a motherfucker and shot at him? I probably had to say it was that night at the kid house when a fella got shot. Mm. 
Yeah, that night at the kid house, I ain't gonna lie, I tried to got down. You know, I tried to I tried to take one on up through there. <laughs> and what, and was this a bra? Yeah, I mean like it was crazy, like shit was so crazy, but I was just telling my roommate about the shit. Like I never forget that the kid house, me and uh Mel, you know what I'm saying? You remember Mel with the dreads, me, Mel and uh Fred, dark skinned Fred. Mm-hmm. We got kicked. We got kicked out the party for throwing a gang sign. So being we got kicked out, they kicked us off the property. It was a, a strip club called Studio Fifty Four across the street. So we had to go across the street to wait for everybody to leave out the club. So being, I think it was like them boys from the gardens and I think niggas from the Riverside. So we chilling, you know what I'm saying? Wait for my folks to get out the club. Like four trucks pull up. Like four four trucks. I'm talking about full of D. So they when they pull up, they street, they like North East Side, North East Side. So we like, yeah, North East Side, you know what I'm saying? Thinking it's people we fuck with. And I'm talking about them boys pull over and hop out like, yeah, Riverside, nigga, you know what time it is. Woo, woo, woo. So we go some shit like, ah shit, these niggas about to jump us, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it all honey. We peeled ass. We hauled ass across the street. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, fuck that. We ain't, we ain't about to go out like that. You know what I'm saying? got down down there 20 deep trying to jump up. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. while that's going on, we see goddamn everybody running out of the club. You know what I'm saying? We see Lenzo, goddamn Snoo, RL, Fella, Streets. Everybody leave out the club fighting. You know what I'm saying? So, we trying to see, like, what the fuck going on? So, them boys, I guess they got two of them niggas from, from the uh, G. So we get outside, niggas still fighting. Bing, 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 bing. We still fighting. Woo, woo. Next thing you know, we hear goddamn gunshots. Boom, 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 boom. So when I hear gunshots, I look to my left. It's my my right hand man, Rashawn. It's him. He's shooting in the alley. So we like, what the fuck? So when he get to shooting, all type of motherfuckers get to shoot. So I go to the car trying to get my gun. Goddamn, I'm talking about as soon as I got down, as soon as she unlocked it. Oh, oh. Breaker, that's her name. Breaker, matter of fact, you know Breaker from the north. Mm-hmm. Dyke Breaker. She mm-hmm. got down. Pop, she popped the truck though to get the goddamn uh, so I can get my gun. I hear pow pow. When I hear pow pow. I hear fella like, oh shit, I'm hit. So I look, mm-hmm. fella, fella leaning on the truck holding his stomach like, damn, bro, I'm hit. And he just dropped to the ground. So in my head, I'm like, oh shit, like, damn, bro, dead. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really shell shocked, but at the same time, I'm still going for the gun. So when I grab my gun, I hear another shot pow pow. And when I hear the second shot, it was uh. Damn, what's his name? Sharon. You know what I'm saying? I hear Sharon Malone. He like, damn, he he falls to the ground. Like, damn, I'm hit, I'm hit. So I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers really, you know what I'm saying? They really shoot. So when I get to shoot, bum, 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 I hear a motherfucker like, oh shit, I'm hit. So in my head, I'm like, damn, I don't know if a nigga like on my side hit, but what I'm aiming at is where a nigga falls to the ground like I'm hit. So I'm like, damn, all right, man, I hit one. So we done got in the car. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We, we put Sharon in our car and fell off in the car with uh, it was Jalen. I think Jalen and Stack. I don't want to lie. I know Jalen for sure. That's when Jalen had the uh the the uh Mercury on twenty fours. So see, we get to the hospital like they like fella died in the car, but they brought him back to life. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you know, I, so. bro, that's crazy. Fella dig your head. Yeah, so, niggas forget but, that shit. Yeah, but the crazy part was Sharon was like he got hit the whole time. He didn't even get shot. I think he got like he got grazed in the back, but he was making seem like he about to die. So you know, what I'm saying? like <laughs> I know lie, like he was like, damn, but he like he tells you like tell my mom I love him, tell my baby mom to take care of my kids. So we on some shit like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit really real. Like we been told pistols. Like you know I'm saying we might shoot, but motherfuckers really weren't getting hit. You know what I'm saying? We really want to go to the club just to fight. So when motherfuckers really start getting hit. I'm like, okay, this shit real, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this shit real. Yeah. Yeah. Did that change your mentality though? Like how you how you went out from there? Cause cause you cause you seeing your peoples get shot, like people you came with. You know what I'm saying? Like you really cause cause like you said, your man's Rashawn, he's shooting in the air. Usually yeah. that's what niggas did back then. You might hear two shots go off. Nigga might shoot past the nigga on purpose, but like these niggas really aiming to kill. Yeah. Did like, that change your mentality? Yeah, yeah, like, I talked to my uncle, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, my uncle, uncle name was Cotto, you know what I'm saying, he just passed yeah. last year, so I'm like, I'm on some shit, I'm on some, I'm on some shit, like, and when I talked to him, like, he really, like I said, he was my father figure, really, so I talked to him about any and everything, you know what I'm saying, so he telling me, like, he was on some shit, like, yeah, if you gonna carry, you better be ready to use it, and when you pull that motherfucker out and point it, you better not play with the motherfucker, you feel me, so, that really, and I seen Fully get shot, so I was on some shit, like, yeah, if I see my man and he even look like he reaching or going for something, I'ma plug his ass in. That's what it was from there on out. So like, hell yeah. Yeah. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm like, I know a motherfucker ain't gonna play with me because I, I ain't gonna play with them. 
What was the what what do you think it was was the was the fascination with guns though? Cause you got like two different types of niggas when it comes to that street shit. Like you got a motherfucker like Snoop, right? Snoop yeah. was like, I'm a the, he got a thrill off punching niggas in their face. And, and, and brawling. This is what I think about Snoop though. Snoop <laughs> Snoop probably probably might be the littlest nigga out of the group, but he got the most heart. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Snoop might steal a nigga and the nigga might eat it, but Snoop gonna be like, yeah, like nigga, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? So shit. But me personally, like I was like I said, I never was a fighter. So if I see some shit going off in the club, I'm a t I'm type of nigga to tell you like straight like, man, bro, let me get them keys. You know what I'm saying? Get them car keys. I'm the one in the parking lot with scrap ready for a motherfucker to come out. You know what I'm saying? So when I see Wells running outside, you know what I'm saying, niggas gonna get in their group. So if I see niggas from the north on one side and niggas from the other side yelling at each other. I'm coming out of cut bus, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm shooting in the crowd, so whoever get hit, get hit, you feel me? And I was on some shit, like, it was crazy, because, like, I, I might fuck around and shoot up shoot up the whole front of the goddamn team party, and whoever get hit, get hit. Like you were saying, niggas ain't really give a fuck about no consequences, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker ain't thinking about no jail, nigga went, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I mean, like, that shit, like I say, that shit really turned me up on some shit. Like, and like I say, I was trying to get strikes. So, mm -hmm. when I when I first really shot my first, like, when I first realized I really shot a motherfucker, like, and did, and I got away with it, it was on some shit, like, man, I can do this shit and never get caught, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, I was on some shit, like, yeah, fuck that, I don't even want to fight no more. I might go in a club, chill, probably talk to some bitches and shit like that, but, you know what I'm saying, if I can't make it outside before the fight comes, because, like, if you inside that club and the fight jump off, and your ass don't fight. Motherfucker don't give a fuck about you shooting at the world. Your ass still getting the feet. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if motherfucker, motherfucker might come to me like, hey, if I'm about to pop the shit out, pick up the keys. So you know what I'm saying? I might peel out. Like, I say no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you was basically, you basically was the beef ender. And I, and I'm and I'm and I'm asking you these questions in in a way where as though you know in the perspective of the people. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you know I know what's really going on, but. You know they don't. You know what I mean. So you were basically like the beef ender. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, I was the one to be like, oh, I, I, I consider how I look that I was like, all right, we get outside, outside this club, y'all get to that car, and I'm gonna add this bitch out. And when I get to add this bitch out, motherfucker, y'all just go ahead and leave up out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Cause how we was like, nobody get left behind. You know what I'm saying? So if you know I'm about to shoot this bitch up, when you instead of you got that argument fighting outside, go to the car, get in the car, cause you know I'm about to shoot this bitch up. It might be me and two other motherfuckers out there with guns. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. So like, hell yeah, yeah, I'm type motherfucker like, yeah, I'm about to add this bitch out and we gonna leave. And we really like motherfuckers really got strikes. I like how we looked at it with strikes. You know what I'm saying? Like street mm -hmm. cred off that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's what motherfucker. When I was home, that's what I was known for. Like motherfucker, like oh yeah, Bonnie, don't play with Vondo. Like yeah, Vondo gonna bust your ass. That's a fact. Vondo gonna bust the shit out. You Vondo gonna bust you. And I, I lived up to that shit. Like yeah, like fuck. That. I'm talking about even when I, as I got older, like you probably think like motherfucker get older and change, but it's like I still had that same mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like. Even as I was, even like when I started hustling, getting money, you know what I'm saying? I still had the same mentality, like, yeah, like, I ain't gonna play with your ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because y'all think, bro, we lost so many niggas to the streets. It really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit. Like, when I lost JP, like, when we lost JP, but that shit was like a big eye opener for us, you know what I'm saying? Like, like damn, like, these niggas really came to Fella House, these niggas really killed, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really killed my dog, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I respect Fella to the most, because, like, Fella really seen his right hand man died in front of his face, you know what I'm saying? Like at a young age at that, like you got me like seventeen, you know what I'm saying, seventeen, eighteen. And still keep a smile, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when niggas lost JP, we lost JP at a young age. So that shit like really fuck with niggas mentally, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, mm -hmm. like my dog really gone, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Niggas niggas right. started questioning their own mortality at that point, bro, because we was Man. young niggas for real. Like, you know, I know I was seventeen. When we lost P, you know what I'm saying, and he had just came home, bro. He was gone for a minute. He was Man, gone for a while, a couple years. I think the crazy part. I think him, him, Stacks, and Lizzo was in DJJ together. Yep. That. Yep. It's so crazy, bro. Um, JJ was talking about a picture of him, TP Stacks, and him, TP Stacks. I'm and in the JJ. picture with him. Yep. I was in the picture with him. We was right there beside, we was uh, beside Wesley Place right there at that Dollar Journey. It was me, JJ, TP, Fella, Stacks, and JP. Yep. 
fact. That shit's that's crazy. When, you know, that's when everybody had that spray paint shit going on. So everybody was getting little spray painted shirts. And we had the NES spray painted shirts. You know what I'm saying? I never forget that. You niggas had the camo on. Yeah, fast had a camo on. That's crazy. I had it on my old page, man. But I lost my old page. I had all them pictures, man. That shit crazy, bro. Like, how many, how many niggas that we grew up with died? And it's like the situations that killed the bros. For the most part, it wasn't even situations that really had anything to do with them. Like yeah. JP situation, like it really didn't. Ha- you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what time it was with that. You know, TP, like it wasn't like crazy situations where it was like, oh, them boys got into some shit right then and there, and them boys got killed because of that. It was always like some indirect shit. Like, you know, it was some. It was always some crazy shit with them boys. Even, even, even Steve, like. You know, he yeah. wasn't a beef starter. Like, that shit just happened. You feel me? Like, that shit be crazy. Like, how how the bros died on some shit that really had, wasn't even a crazy situation that they were really too much involved in. You feel me? Like. Yeah, fast. You right. Bro. And that shit hit home because you got to think, like, we wasn't just, like, you got to think, like, some motherfuckers from different sides, they might be clicked up, but they really weren't cool like that. It might be some shit like uh, we going to link up when we go out or some shit like that. But, like, when it comes to us, like, we was together every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it might be us in the reserves and y'all and smoke them, you know what I'm saying, on partway. But when we link up, we going to link up. You feel me? It mm-hmm. wasn't just like, don't say like, so I really, I can't really call niggas from the north my homeboys. Like, probably like something like the new niggas that's, that's around now. You feel me? Like, yeah, they're my homeboys. But, like, the old niggas, like, I consider niggas like JJ, you, Quan, Fella. You know what I'm saying? Lil might be. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? Tick, Lenzo, Snoop. Like, them niggas, I look at y'all as my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, we done been through shit. Like, y'all done slept on my mama floor. I done came to y'all mama house ate at y'all mama kitchen. You feel me? Like, that shit different. Yeah. We yeah, really, so- we really all, like, really seen each other grow up. Like, really shed tears together. Like, really gave right. each other bread. Like, bro, yeah, I need a dub. Like- and never was a, <laughs> it never was a shame to be like, bro, I need yeah. such and such from you, bro. Can like, you give me this? I don't been. I don't. I ain't gonna lie. I don't went to the club. Like, boy, I might go to the club. Like, boy, you got my way in. Motherfucker, like, man, no way you come to the club with no money. Man, you got my way in. Hell yeah, but I want my motherfucking money back. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Now, now, when did shit start to progress from you like being just a shooter to like hustling? Cause you mentioned hustling, bro. You know what I mean? Man, I'm gonna keep it all the way hundred, like. I really like after that shit, like when we started getting older and I really like my brother, I, that's one thing I get my brother. He was always a hustler, you know what I'm saying? By any means, I'm talking about from, you know what I'm saying? Kicking those to doing what you got to do. Like he was always hustling. So it, it really elevated me from being like, damn, just me, you got them doing petty shit to get money, you know what I'm saying? Just to get first, go to the team party to motherfuckers like, all right, we got responsibilities now. Like motherfuckers having babies, niggas getting older, trying to take care of they sell my dudes getting tired of that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I really was robbing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was my second thing. Like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to start robbing shit. You know what I'm saying? I was really robbing shit. Like, and were, you robbing, were you robbing people? Were you robbing businesses? Were you robbing dope I'm, boys? I was, I was scared. I was I was scared to hit a store or a bank. I don't talk to like robbing <laughs> in the street. You feel me? I don't keep it yeah. honey. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with no stores or no bank. I'm going to rob your ass in the street. So you were robbing, like, rent, like, like. Yeah, walking down the street, or would you like street? Mo- I might fuck around, see a nigga who got the weed, motherfucker who got the work, motherfucker who just might be there. You know, so I might be around a bunch of motherfuckers taking shit. And I might be like, you know him? I'm like, hell, I don't know that nigga, but shit, you, you know what I'm saying? We were young, you got on Jordans and the goddamn fresh outfit. We know you got something on, you know what I'm saying? Damn. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I might put the piss on your ass for your iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Go sell that bitch to the a rail So I was right. You know what I'm saying? Really, anybody <laughs> who looked like they had something worth going on, I'm going to stick your ass up. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm keeping all the hunting. Like, I try to rob. I ain't going to say his name, but I try to rob one of the biggest niggas in the city. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? I try to rob one of the biggest niggas in the city. I try to take his chain. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got on my ass outside the club. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, I met, that's when I met the nigga named Wild Bill. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, if you know from Columbia, you should know Wild Bill. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he doing Fed time right now. But shit, like, like we, he, he from the North. He was like one of them older niggas from the North, like, who grew up with my jeans. You know what I'm saying? Long live Super D. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? Cap now. But, like, he always, he, like, when I got into that shit at the club, I fuck around and got mazed. 
know what I'm saying? After I got jumped, I got made so got down. We was at Blitz Night Light. You know what I'm saying? DT, I was cool with DT, so DT let me go in the stripper in the back where strippers be at and you know what I'm saying, clean up, you know what I'm saying? So basically when I delete when I went down to the club area, while B was like, Man, goddamn, I seen what happened outside, man, goddamn get my number, little bro, got that guy's numbers like, man, pull up on me tomorrow. So now I was like, shit, all right, I said no more, but I ain't even pull up on him the next day. You feel me? I'm still on some shit. Like, man, I'm trying to hit a lick. So I fuck around and test him. Like, shit, what's up? What you got going on? He's like, shit, pull up on me. So I never forget me and Lenzo. Cause Lenzo, that's when Lenzo really first started gambling. You know what I'm saying? So Lenzo, shit, Lenzo went down there to gamble with him. So I rode with Lenzo to gamble. You know what I'm saying? Lenzo had hit him for like five, six hundred. But the whole time, like, we in the trap. Like, we in a real life trap. Like, this shit swinging. You know what I'm saying? I really see crack. Heroin, pistols on something like that. This shit like a real life trap, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm like, man, what's up? He like, shit. He like, what you trying to do? Like, you, you can't rob forever. You feel me? Like, shit, that shit gonna get you killed in jail. So what you gonna do? I'm like, shit, put me on, and shit, really, it went from there. Mm. Was it an adjustment to make? Like, cause when you when you selling dope and and hustling, you gotta like, it's like a slow build. You feel me? You gotta turn 25 into 50 or 100 into 200. Was it an adjustment to make? Because you can go rob a nigga for five, six, seven hundred dollars and go buy a fit and go to the club and ball that night. When you hustling, you got to kind of worry about re-up. You got to worry about goddamn clientele. You got to be, it's basically like a job. So you basically working. Was it an adjustment to make going from robbing to hustling? Yeah, so like when he showed me the ins and outs and the ropes and everything, I just got down learning and then took off. Yeah. Did you, did you, which did you like better though? Like, I'd imagine hustling was a slower process than, 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 than robbing. So you probably like robbing better because it's instant gratification. Like, you yeah. getting, you getting that money off rip. Like, you know, you're going to yeah. come home with something, motherfucker. You're going to come yeah, home with yeah, something. I, think, I always, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 to be honest, I really say I like, I, I like the hustling mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, you say robbing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, like, oh, I might come in with something, but you got to think, you never know what's on the outside of that door. You know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. what that man might do when you got them think he pussy as fuck because you got them to put that pistol on. He done shook up. You feel me? Like, yo, Becky might shoot your ass. Or you might ready to shoot, kill your ass. You know what I'm saying? Where versus where the hustling, it was just like, shit, you get this pack. You do got them. You already know what you spent on it. You know what you trying to make off of it. Just basically just sit on your ass and let the dough swing, you know what I'm saying? You catch play. Mm -hmm. So when like when I got introduced to the trap, it was really like on some shit like, man, like I be honest, but I never seen no shit like that before. I'm talking about I done seen motherfuckers O D and come back to life. I'm talking about like real life pass out, turn purple. Like I'm like, I'm on some shit like, oh shit, I'm about to get the fuck on through. He like, man, chill, throw their ass in the shower. You know what I'm saying? He might throw their ass in the shower. We might be two smokers in there. He might pay their ass. Like, yeah, here goes something. Goddamn, go, bring them back to life. And like, they really go in there and bring the man back to life. So I'm I'm on some shit like, man, like this shit. At first, I'm scared as hell. Like, man, this shit might be too much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, but the money wise, the money was coming in so fast. I'm like, I'm locked. So I didn't think I was young. I'm like, I was like 21, 22. Now, I ain't really had, I really wasn't getting no money like that until I started doing that. So I'm like, man, I'm locked in. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And did you, did he, did, 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 did he front you some work or was it just like, yeah, like, yeah, he fronted me. Like, I never forget, like, my first day, he fronted me a little cell or some work. I fuck around and popped the Zan and went to sleep and woke up the seven being gone. So I'm like, what the fuck? I go in like, bro, my work gone. He like, yeah, this nigga, this the trap. Like, this real life trap, motherfuckers in and out. Nigga like, motherfucker probably pickpocket your ass. That shit probably fail, motherfucker picked it up, anything. You know what I'm saying? He like, shit, that's on you. But shit, this one right here, this on me. You know what I'm saying? So he fuck up again, like, yeah, that's on you. You got to come out your pocket. But that shit, they taught me a lesson. So I really was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I slept with my shit. Damn near in my goddamn nuts, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, so like, hell yeah, that shit was like basically, it was like a starter kit. Like, he like, here, do what you do. This how you, you know what I'm saying? This how you cut it. This how you do, 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 do. You know what, what you gonna make. This is what you supposed to make. It's all on you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm the type of nigga, like, I'm the type of nigga, like, it, it was probably about six, seven months in the trap, bro. But I'm the type of nigga that uh, sit back and let you swing, you know what I'm saying? Like, my first real life run to the swords, like, yeah, goddamn swear, my boy, shit, I got 200. Nigga, be like, man, I'm gonna give you goddamn 200 word. Next man, my boy, I'm gonna give you 220 word. My boy, like, fuck, I give you 250 word. So I'm the type of nigga, like, all right, I'm just sit back and let everybody sell out. And before it's time to re up, I'm gonna goddamn jam my shit straight, 
break bust down. You feel me? Like, yeah, ain't nothing going on. Ain't no love showing. You gonna buy it or you not? You feel me? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. That, that's how that's how I really started coming up. You know what I'm saying? Then we was big gamblers too. You know what I'm saying? So I might fuck around here for about seven, eight hundred just gambling. You know what I'm saying? That's just free money. You know what I'm saying? So it was really that shit. Like that shit was a whole different type of world for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I fell in love with that shit. And y'all selling heroin at this time. Yeah, we were selling. I was selling heroin and I was selling crack. That's crazy. That, that's your that's your celly snoring like that. Yeah, yeah, he knocked out on that drink. That nigga snoring like a mother. I was wondering what the fuck that was this whole time, man. Buddy has knocked the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, he been on that drink, man. I ain't been fucking behind though, man. <laughs> yeah. But um, y'all selling heroin at this time, bro? Like. You know, growing up, dog, we all knew crackheads, we all knew fiends, we all knew motherfuckers who was on drugs. But like, heroin addict is a different type of drug addict. Like, talk about yeah. that trap, that type of trap house. Cause we all done been to a crack house. Talk about a, a heroin trap house, bro. Like, what is that shit like compared to a crack house? Man, that shit, like that shit, like I ain't gonna lie, shit was crazy. Like, I ain't know what to expect when I first start fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell you, I seen a motherfucker real like OD off the shit, like. This shit like and it's crazy because there's so much money in it you know what i'm saying but like it's, it's just i don't know how to explain it to you but like that shit is a different world bro like like you might see a motherfucker hit hit you might i done seen motherfucker snort it i done seen motherfuckers literally chew it i done seen motherfuckers mm. shoot it you know what i'm saying but i don't really seen a motherfucker hit that shit and like nod it off like how you might see in a movie or you know what i'm saying like that shit, like that shit, real motherfucker hit that shit and nod off going to another world. And about five minutes later, he had snap out of it and be like, "Yeah, I want some more." Mm. You know what I'm saying? I done seen like literally, like, oh, I done seen the dude, the white dude, OD, like turn purple. Like I tell you, like turn purple. Like we was on the crazy part. We was on the way to the mall. We was about to go to the mall. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was fucking with uh, my ex. Her name Shayla. She used to work at DTLR. So that's when I never forget. That's when the uh, Jordan Foes came out. We was on the way to the mall to go get shoes. Like, my homeboy, like, man, I'm about to take a piss before we go to the mall. So, he's like, all right, bitch. You know what I'm saying? We getting dressed. He like, man, what the fuck? The dope stuff was going on. So, he pushed the dope. It's a motherfucking inmate. Dead on the floor. Like, we forgot the man even went in the bathroom. Because we had, we had, we was on some shit. Like, ain't no using in here. You know what I'm saying? You take your shit and you go. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. he, he was on shit. Like, he got to use the bathroom the whole time. He wasn't even used. I'm talking about the man was purple, bro. Like, I look like I'm scared to shit. I'm like, bro, this man dead, bro. Like, I'm like, get the fuck on through. Like, they put the man in the in the shower for like 10 minutes just slapping the shit. I'm talking about slapping the shit out of the man. He's slapping the man. I'm like, man, this man dead, but like, like, no exaggeration. Like, 15 minutes he came back to life. Like, he woke up, like, what happened? What happened? What's going on? Bro, like, man, your ass OD, nigga. You done died in this bitch. Who the who? So he's like, damn. So he's sitting on the couch. You know what I'm saying? The whole time we not even knowing he got his wife and his son outside in the car waiting on him. Shit. So we like, what the fuck? We like, yeah, man, come on, me. Like, you gotta go. He like, man, all right, let me buy some more. We like, buy some more. He like, yeah, I wanna buy some more, man. That shit too good. He like, man, hell no. But my homeboy like, man, fuck that. I'm a servant. You gotta go though. So I'm like, yeah, this shit here, this shit here, this shit a whole different ball game. That shit a way different ball game, bro. I ain't never seen a crack AOD off no crack. Yeah, but I don't seen. I seen motherfuckers. I'm talking about like two or three times seeing motherfuckers real life OD. That shit crazy, bro. Did you ever, did you ever, were you ever nervous of the people you were serving? Like, cause you know, like, with heroin, they say like a lot of times they need that shit to live, bro. Were you ever worried about a motherfucker? Cause you're not really worried about a crackhead robbing you. You tell a crackhead to get the fuck on, but a motherfucker who know that they need heroin to live. It's a different type of motherfucking worry that come with shit like that. Well, I would think. Were you ever worried that a motherfucker would rob you or try to kill you about that dope? I mean, to be honest, not well, not where we was at, cause how we was in, it was so many straps in that motherfucker. You know, I already had that street mentality, so I ain't putting that past they ass. I'm an alley they ass. They even tried, so <laughs> I can say I can say yeah, but I really can't say no. But no saying, but one thing about them, they gonna bring, they gonna bring whatever. Like I done seen motherfuckers bring guns, TV. I done seen one motherfucker. He used to go to the Walmart store and somehow I don't even know, bro. He used to break into the Walmart store and steal cartons of Newports and bring shit back. I'm talking about, I done seen motherfuckers sell their mama wedding rings, like all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, one thing I said about it, them motherfuckers is hustlers. You know what I'm saying? So, if they ain't gonna bring money, they're gonna bring something of value. Mm. 
and the crazy, I keep a hundred, bro. It was a, I never forget. She was a white nurse. She was on heroin, bro. Like she was a white nurse. But I'm talking about like clean nurse, like white, pretty white bitch. Like I'll keep a hundred. I probably would have fucked. Her. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's how, you know what I'm saying. She's like a normal working citizen, bro. But she on heroin. Mm. So I was like, damn, like that shit opened my eyes. Like damn, boy, you might not know who owned this shit, but I, I, I probably, I, I probably, I can't say for the next motherfuckers, but I know them motherfuckers weren't gonna try us. It was so many guns in that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And you was gonna let it rip off top anyway. Oh yeah, you know that. Tell you. So like you know, eventually you end up catching a, a, a case. You know what I mean for um, you end up catching the case for what was it? A, what was it? A heroin charge? The case that ended up that you ended up getting locked up for? Yeah, I got fucked up for trafficking heroin, trafficking crack, and unlawful carrying of a firearm. <sighs> Explain that situation, like because of course we know what trafficking is, right? But mm-hmm. you can get a trafficking charge from doing everyday shit, just having drugs on you. So yeah. talk about the situation that got you a trafficking charge. Like, how did you get catch that? Well, shit. Basically, we was in we, we was in the country. Like, we was in fucking Elgin. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, we had a new spot trapped out. Ain't had nothing left. Being impatient, like I'm calling him. Like, bro, we ain't got nothing left. He like, should I be there in like an hour, or two, three hours go past? He's still at the house. So I'm on some shit like that. What? You know what I'm saying? This shit's motherfuckers pulling up. We got like four, five, six people in the house waiting. You know what I'm saying? We probably was like. I say about like 30 minutes from from the uh 30 45 minutes from where he stayed at where we really stayed at you know what I'm saying because I had fuck around and moved in with him so I was on some shit like fuck it bro I'm just about to pull up so I I played smoker I never forget it was a woman her husband and her uh daughter the 18 year old daughter in the front seat and I was like man take me and I you know what I'm saying I look out for y'all on gas money and on some work so I like, all right bet so I get to the house take a shower I get to the house take a shower re up. Know what I'm saying, but I had it was two other people. I ain't gonna say the name. It's two other people in the house too where I had left them at. So I had grabbed day work too. You know what I'm saying. So I got day work and like the crazy part about it, we went ain't had no gun that day. So I'm on some shit like man, we in the country, but like I need a strap. He like shit. I'm, like, I'm gonna take my strap. He's like man, don't ride that dirty, bro. You got damn, I bring it to. You. I'm on some shit like man, fuck that, bro. You know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm scraped. You know what I'm saying. So long story short, we get back on the road to Elgin. I never forget a black truck rolled past, and they was like, "Oh shit, that's the uh, that they're like that's an on um, undercover agent." So I'm like, "Shit, he in front of us, we straight, go ahead, you know what I'm saying, play it all regular." So we got them hot behind him, we driving. I got the gun under the seat, but I got the work in a Crown Royal bag in my nuts. So we just ride, you know what I'm saying? I'm like I said, I've been on the Zans back then, so I'm on the Zan. I ain't really paying attention. I'm texting my my ex, her name Shayla. I'm texting her. We talking about getting got. I just bought a car too, so me and her was talking about getting an apartment together and shit. So I'm texting her, you know what I'm saying, on Facebook and shit. So when I look up, I see the police turn to the subdivision. So I'm like, all right, we straight. He probably about to. It's a big, it's big ass house. So I'm like, man, he probably stay there or some shit like that. So I ain't really paying no attention. So we got and we keep it pushing. Like two minutes later, I see blue lights. So I'm like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to goddamn get the work from out my nuts, but the shit somehow the shit got stuck to my belt. I had a Louis a Louis Vuitton belt on, the shit got stuck to my belt. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, damn trip. So I just, you know what I'm saying, played it out. So when he walked up to the car, he knew her name. Like, what's up? I forgot her name. I got to look at my paperwork. He said her name. Like, what's up? He's like, what's up? So he talked to her. Like, what's going on? He like, who you? I'm like, shit, I'm Javante. I tell him, you know what I'm saying? He like, Javon. I'm like, yeah, that's me. He like. What you doing? What you doing with them? I'm like, shit, these are my people. We about to go to the cookout. You know what I'm saying? We chilling. Like, all right. So he, st- he asked the driver to step out the car. So she go to the back of the car. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking nothing there. So the whole time I'm still trying to get the workout. So I'm like, man, look, goddamn, if anything go wrong to the smoke, like anything go wrong, goddamn, you, I'm going to pay y'all to take the charge. And she's like, all right, bitch. So the whole time I'm trying to get the shit out of my nuts. I look back up. He coming back to the car. Like, step out the car for me. So I'm like, for what? But like, just step out the car for me. So I step out the car. He was like, yeah, you got something on you? I'm like, nah, I ain't got nothing on he like, yeah, uh, I smell marijuana, so this probable cause to search y'all. So I'm like, when he said that, I'm like, oh, shit, I know what time it is. But I got the work in between my nuts, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, straight. It's like the crazy part of it was like, he didn't even pat me down. Like, he told me to put my hands on the car. As soon as I put my hands on the car, the man was straight, straight in my pants. So I'm like, oh, what you doing? I'm like, you supposed to be patting me down. He's like, this is, this is a pat down. I'm like, man, hell no, you trying to go in my nuts, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, don't move. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I ain't gonna move, man. So like three other police pull up. I'm talking about when they pull up, they ran straight towards me and put guns out. Like, don't move. If you move, we gonna shoot you. So I'm on some shit like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck going on? 
So they pull out the workout, my nuts, and they're like, oh, yeah, bingo. You know what I'm saying? They pulled it out. It was 21 grams of heroin. Like, like four, it was like 14 grams of crack. I had a scale and some rubber bands and shit. So, like, when he seen it, he's like, oh, yeah, bingo. You know what I'm saying? And we said bingo. I'm like, damn, I already know what time it was. So, he's like, shit, you going to jail? I had, like, like $2,300 in my pocket. He took the money out of my pocket. So, I'm like, shit, just let me get my phone. So, I got in the back seat. Long story, I got fucked up in Kershaw County. You know what I'm saying? So, when I went to Kershaw, I went to the uh, the county jail. I'm like, shit, what time bond court is? They're like, shit, we hold bond court when we want to. So I'm like, huh? They're like, yeah, so goddamn, you ain't going to bond court today. You might go to bond court like two, three days. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, all right, bet. So I called bro, like, yeah, bro, I got fucked up. He like, yeah, I already know goddamn a smoker who we, we used to serve. He like, she a smoker bro pass and called me and said he seen me. So I'm like, yeah, I got fucked up. He like, she don't worry about it. We gonna come, I'm going to come get you, bro. You know that, goddamn, whatever your bond is. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I went to bond court like two days later. I had like $125,000 bond. So I'm like, shit, $125,000 bond. They probably gonna want like four or five racks to move me, you know what I'm saying? 10%. They're probably gonna want like four or five racks. I'm straight. So I called brother, like, yeah, I got $125,000 bond. So he like, all right, bet I'm gonna get you. But like I tell you, when Fella had got shot, I was already on that shit. I was on paperwork for that shit. Oh, so I, shit. yeah, so they fuck around and had violated my uh, probation. I had fuck assault and battery. So they fuck around and uh, had probation violation, but. My brother was fucking with this bondsman, so he like on some shit like you straight. Like she say she gonna got down if the if your probation officer he if your uh your bench warrant she gonna come get you. So we had all that shit worked out. Like yeah, got down we gonna um get your shit worked out. You know what I'm saying? This and that, this and that. My probation officer like yeah, you straight. And he's like if I do get the shit uplifted, you gonna have to come in air weed piss test. I ain't gonna play with you this time. So I'm like bet I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep all the honey like. The nigga I was fucking with Bill, like, I'm like, shit, everything's straight, bro. You come buy me out here, buy me out today. I'm going to work and I'm going to get it. But like, shit, I told him, like, shit, bro, I, I got, like, like two, three racks in my sister's house to go with the money. You know what I'm saying? So you can just grab that and add it with it. Whole time, I didn't even have no money at my sister's house, bro. I don't fuck around and spent the money on some cluck shit, not even thinking. So whole time, basically, like, he stalling me out. Like, I'm coming to get you, bro. This week, that week come. Like, bro, it's going to be next week. Shit fucked up, shit slow. I'm like, all right, bet. That week come, same thing. Like he, but you know, he steady putting money on my book, money on my book. I'm like, man, fuck this. Like, what's going on? Come get me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck you got going on? Come get me, bro. So, I basically sent them. I said, I think I said in the county for down there, I like think year. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And I was also some shit like, man, fuck it. I'm just gonna ride the bid out. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause my lawyer, I had a lawyer. I paid like twelve hundred for him. He was like, he was an ex solicitor, but he turned lawyer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. His name was Ron, Ron Mo, some fat, sloppy crack I'm talking about. Don't know. <laughs> dumb as fuck, you know what I'm saying? So he came at me like, yeah, you looking at goddamn. He's like, shit, they came with a plea. I'm like, shit, what the plea is? He's like, shit, you're going to take a plea for 18 years. Or wow. go to, yeah, he's like, take this plea for 18 years or go to trial and goddamn catch 46 years. He's like, shit, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I can't go to trial. I got caught with the dope on me. So I'm like, damn. So in my head, though, I'm like, damn, why they trying to slay me like this? Right. You know what I'm saying? But the whole time, like, while I'm in the county, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, I'm a big gambler, you know what I'm saying? I like to play poker and shit. So while I'm playing poker, like, the shit keep coming on the news, like, overdoses, overdoses, hair around overdoses, and goddamn, and LG, and goddamn. I saw, I'm like, Damn, like motherfuckers, no, no exaggeration. Like four goddamn overdoses happened, and one white woman came on the television about her daughter ODing. So I'm like, damn, they trying to hold, they trying to make a sample out of the motherfuckers. Like they put me on the TV and all. I was in TV newspaper, you know, so my article still on Google. So I'm like, god damn, like these motherfuckers are trying to slay me, you me? Yeah. So goddamn, long story short, I'm like, man, I can't take no 18. Like shit, see if you can drop my shit down. So I call my my uh my auntie and my my cousin. They like, man, fuck him. We about to goddamn fire him. And my brother, like, shit, my brother got down. He like, man, I'm going to put some money on a new lawyer. So we, I had got a federal lawyer. He's a federal lawyer and a state lawyer. You know what I'm saying? I had got him. And my brother, you know what I'm saying? My brother's helping me out. My homeboy, DP, he was helping me out. My homeboy, DJ, they was helping me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, DJ had just got out of the county. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? That's what, like, them boys from the one side. I fought them boys so hard. Like, them boys was putting money on the book, getting my girl money to goddamn put gas in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, looking out for me. So the next time he came, he like, man, look, this is what it is. They said 15 years or goddamn, we're going to try. Ain't no your fans, but so I'm like, man, fuck, see if we can get like 10 or 12, nine violent. They're like, 
Oh, he's like, all right, bet. So he left, and the next day he came right back, like, man, they said they ain't doing no nine violent. This shit gonna be violent because of the gun. They pinned the gun on him, too. So they're like, yeah, you got the gun, you got the drugs, you got the money. They're like, ain't nothing going on. You're gonna take 15 years, or your ass gonna do 40, 46 years. You go to trial. Like, they're like, you got till tomorrow. Like, that was on like a Wednesday. They're like, you got till Friday to get turning your answer, or they gonna take the, the, uh, the, the plea deal off the table, and your ass going to trial. So I called my mama like, man, mom, this was going on. She just bust out crying like, man, I'd rather see you in 15 years than see you in goddamn 46. Fast. I'm like, yeah. So I called my brother, you know what I'm saying? I talked to my brother and fellow, you know what I'm saying? All the boys have minutes on the phone. I'm talking to them. They're like, yeah, man, I damn, take, take the P-10, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're going to ride it out with you. I already know what time it is. Goddamn. So I'm like, fuck it. I told my lawyer, like, I'm going to take the 15. Went hmm. to goddamn court to get him goddamn 15 violent. Damn. Did you ever think that you would be telling somebody i'm gonna take 15 like usually like you would think 15 like bro that's the most i'm thinking i'm ever gonna have to be offered but you like man. fuck it the 15 is the lesser of two evils you feel me like did you ever imagine that type of shit because you know what come with the streets but like to be honest bro like i was so here first in the streets i i, I ain't gonna lie to you i kind of felt like i would see prison but I never thought it'd be for like no fear. I probably thought I'd be like, damn, I might fucking go down the road for like five years. You know what I'm saying? Do about two, three years, come home. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Like I said, I was on probation. I was ducking my probation. So that was five years right there. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go down the road and do probably about two years, come home, get a shit on my back. But like, I ain't going to lie. When the motherfuckers say 15, like, I damn this shitted on myself. Like 15 years, now 23 years old, you feel me? Yeah. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? This shit real, you know what I'm saying? But how motherfuckers be talking about prison? Like, yeah, goddamn, this shit real. You know, motherfuckers be like, oh, your niggas raping shit, all type of crazy shit. So I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, fuck, I'm staying on my own team. But the crazy part was, like, when I was in the county, like, when I was in the county, like, he, he fucked around and got fucked up, him, you know what I'm saying? Like, two other niggas in stats, long live stats, you know what I'm saying? Stats got fucked up with him, too, you feel me? Mm. So, and stats got fucked up with some work. And goddamn, I say probably like I was in the county for like almost a year. I probably say like I got I got I got I got sentenced in April. I don't want to lie, I, I can't remember what year, what month Stacks died. But I seen Stacks like I called my home. I never get I call home like what's going on, bro? My brother crying like I was fuck wrong with you. Like I never hear God on you know, so I never hear streets cry. So I'm like, what the fuck you crying for? Like I already knew. Like what the fuck going on? Like man, Stacks dead, bro. I'm like, man, what? I'm like, man, whatever. I'm like, man, bro, like, for real, like, bro, peace, that's dead. I'm like, damn, like, I'm going to call you back, bro. I hung up. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't sit on my bunk. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I ain't dwell on me yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't cry. I ain't say shit. So I'm like, damn. I call my girl. She like, she, she sad. She like, yeah, baby, stats died. So I'm like, damn. Like, man, I'm going to call y'all later. You know what I'm saying? It's still ain't dying on me. So I get to the poker table. I'm playing poker. That shit come across the news, like, yeah, Pierre Wilson, such and such died at the club. Like, and that shit hit me, like, damn, like, like my dog really did. Like, I just broke down at the table. So the boy's like, what the fuck? Like, what you straight, bro? I instantly called home, like, damn, bro, like, stats died for real. Like, so between that and catching my time, like, that shit really was fucking with me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I really, I ain't gonna lie, when I went and caught the 15, bro, I had so much on my plate, like, like, damn, like, you gotta think, man, stats grew up from the mud, like, since Jit sandbox type shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, damn, I feel like I done lost my brother, I done caught this time, shit ain't going right. You know what I'm saying? I get to prison, I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie, I get to prison, my first yard was Lee County. You see, everybody, like, Lee County, like, that's the, that's the, the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get to Lee County, go in the dorm, I'm downstairs, a nigga pull up on me, like, what's up, bro, where you from? I'm like, I'm from the Met. She's like, yeah, goddamn, what's up, town? I'm like, town? He's like, yes, yeah, what we call me from the net, you town, what's up? Woo -woo. I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, shit, goddamn. You know, goddamn. He's like, what side of town you from? I'm like, shit, I'm from the northeast side. He's like, that's what's up, I'm from the uh, river. I'm like, what's up? That's what's up. He's like, shit, so you know two can see low? I'm like, yeah, I know two can see low. He's like, them boys upstairs. I'm like, yeah. He's like, man, fact, come on, nigga. So I put my shit down. I walk upstairs, you know what I'm saying? I walk upstairs. But this is the crazy part, though. When I walk, when I first walk in the dorm, like, I walk in the dorm, bro. I see the CEO sitting at the at the table, but I see niggas with cell phones. I'm like they like she she right there, but niggas got cell phones out. Niggas smoking weed on the rock, smoking cigarettes, playing poker. Niggas got music playing. Niggas at a microwave cooking. I'm like, so I'm like, what the fuck? Like this shit, this shit turned. Like what the fuck? I see cell phones and all. So I'm like, damn, this shit like the streets. I go in the room. I knock on the door, dude. Like who is? I'm like this Vine. So two like Vine. 
He swung the door open. See, Lola like, Bonnie, what's up, nigga? We're just on goddamn SEDC Googling your ass, boy. So I'm like, what's up, nigga? Goddamn <laughs> word. Like, nigga, like, man, we about to get high for that. And the boy I left out of the room. They got that came back, weed, cigarettes, liquor, like real street liquor and homemade book. So I'm like, we in that bitch cooler. We drinking it like count time. He like, toot like shit. I'm going to move in the room with me, goddamn. I'll just be ready in the morning. So I'm like, all right, bet. I got to prison on a Monday, bro. Like, on a Wednesday, we lost C. Low. That's when the riot popped off between the Crips and the Bloods. Damn. You know and the Crips and Bloods had a riot. That's when I lost C. Low. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think, me and C. Low didn't grow up. You got to think, you know what I'm saying? C. Low grew up with us. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. for me, being in a room and really seeing, like, my friend, like, I got to think I got it on a Wednesday, bro. I'm green. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nigga, like, see, look, I never get that Tuesday. See, look, like, man, you can't walk around with no Crocs on. He go a pair of boots, bro. Like, matter of fact, hold on, I be back. He left out of the room and came back. Like, he go a phone, bro. Like, I just bought another phone. Like, he gave me my first phone. Like, he, I'm like, damn, that's what, you know, phone was like $1,200, $1,300. Yeah. He like, see, he go a phone, bro. I'm going to show you how to get money. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell you how, you how we get money. But like, see, I'm going to tell you how to get money. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see you turn up. Yeah. So I'm like, what I, I'm like, what I owe you for the phone? He's like, nigga, I don't, you don't owe me nothing. Man. I got rats, bro. He's like, you scrape, nigga. I'm gonna show you how to get money. So I'm like, bet. You know what I'm saying? So that Tuesday he gave me a phone, but that Wednesday he died, bro. Like, bro, you know what what? Like, I really, I really stepped on the rock and seen my dog leaving out the goddamn building by two getting held up by two niggas bleeding to death. You know what I'm saying? Like, Man. I really see motherfuckers walking around with stab wounds and all type of shit. So that shit really fucked me up mentally. So I'm like, this shit real. You know what I'm saying? Like. This shit real, boy. Real, real. That's crazy, bro. I did not know you had only gotten to spend time with him for two days, bro. I thought he left for like two days, bro. I got spent time with him for two days, but like, but the crazy part, he was our like next door neighbor, bro. So we might be talking through the whole, like, we had holes in the so we might be talking through the whole, might call each other on the phone, you know what I'm saying? Might be on Facebook tagging each other and shit. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, like, this shit's sweet, but whole time, like, this shit really can turn to a jungle. You know what I'm saying? That fast, bro. Just that yeah, two yeah. days ago, you know what I'm saying? You smoking weed, getting acquainted with your niggas. Nigga get your phone. Next day, your nigga died. It's a whole riot pop up. I'm talking about, I see, like, my folks walk around with, I see one nigga stabbed in the eye, like, he holding his eye. He got a shit on his whole body, like, the whole sheet red. I see, I'm talking about, like, real, like, big ass. I see nigga got holes in, like, you can literally see the white meat, see bones. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, niggas walk around with real life. She look like machetes, bro, but, like. I like, yeah, this shit here real, bro. Like, in my head, I'm like, but how the fuck I gotta go through 15 years of this shit, man? Like, I'm in my head, I'm like, nah, I can't, I ain't, I don't think I'm gonna make it through this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Facts, bro. What's the what's the politics like in prison, in SCDC prisons, bro? I always wanted to know, cause like one of my one of one of the bros, uh, Merc, not um. <clears throat> Not Lil Merc. Blood, Blood Merc. He's talking about the politics. Like he basically told me in so many words, if you ain't a gang member, you're gonna kinda have a hard time in prison, in S C D C prison. So what's the politics like from what you've seen? I ain't gonna, I can't really say it's like that, bro. You gotta think, like, when I was home, bro, I was fucking with the bloods, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, like, cause of stats, you know what I'm saying? But I never got down, so you feel me? Like, I never, you know what I'm saying? I went down, so my fucking ain't really send me a blood. Like, me, like, I'm neutral, bro. I don't bang that, bro. You feel me? And, like, to keep it 100, I ain't getting nothing yet back, you bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really not like that. You know what I'm saying? But you got, you, like, it's certain shit you can do and certain you can't do, you feel me? Like, cause you gotta think it's, a, it's different organizations around this motherfucker, so. You know, it's, it's kind of pizza pizza, but it's not on shit like, oh, he he he, he ain't no game him, so we gonna take his phone, or he ain't no game him, we gonna rob him, or we gonna bully him, and on no shit like that. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you a man, you know what I'm saying? It's niggas back who don't game bang, but that get on that floor with niggas and rumble out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it really is you as a person, you know what I'm saying? How you handle yourself as a man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me, I fuck with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Crips, Bloods, G, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like the crazy part is, motherfuckers used to tell me, like, man, when you go down the road, don't get close to niggas, niggas, this and that, this and that. But, you know what I'm saying? I fuck around and got cool with a nigga back here, you know what I'm saying? He crip, you know what I'm saying? Like, I look at him like my right hand man, like, we get money together, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I look at him like a brother, like how I look at y'all, that's how I look at him, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I really, you can't really say that, just like how you hold, like, if you do fuck shit, Fuck shit gonna happen to you, you know what I'm saying? You a stand up nigga, niggas gonna be like, yeah, don't fuck with you, know what I'm saying? That's true, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's basically how you carry yourself, bro. 
Does respect does does respect go a long way in prison? In, in yeah, SCDC? yeah. That that's the main thing. Prison, like any prison, like respect is the top priority. Like me ain't gonna respect the next man, nigga ain't gonna respect you. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So that's I mean, you know, that shit go for the streets too. Like respect is everything. And, and what I mean by respect is like, like courtesy. Like you know, you you step on a nigga foot, you say, "Pardon me, excuse me." You know what I'm saying? You bump into a nigga, you say, "Excuse me." You know, you, you ask a nigga, you ask a nigga, "Can you use some shit?" Like when it come yeah. to like, like let's say, I mean, you know, niggas don't need porno books in prison. You know, in prison yeah. these days. But if a nigga had a, had, had a book. A regular book that you wanted to read, you know what I'm saying? You would have to bring the nigga book back in pristine condition. You know, yeah. if you borrow something from a nigga like a honey bun, you better get that nigga that honey bun back tomorrow if you say you're going to get it to him tomorrow type shit. Like, Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's that's anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga might be like, shit. God damn, you got motherfuckers who back you who sell food. So you might be like, shit, I might go to the store, man. Like, let me get four honey buns. And I'm going to pay you back store day. You know what I'm saying? Store day come back. If you ain't got no four honey buns or something that equal that honey bun or money to pay that man, damn right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, God damn, you going to pay me or I'm going to get on your ass. So, you know what I'm saying? It's basically respect, man. What, what about extortion, bro? Do niggas get extorted for their canteen? I saw a nigga say he came to prison. He said he came to prison and a nigga told him he had to give him, I think the max you could spend at the store was $75 a week. Yeah, he I said mean, a nigga told him he had to give him forty dollars, a sixty dollars a week, so to protect him. Like, I mean, do niggas do shit like that in prison, dog? I mean, you could. I ain't gonna lie, it'd it be some shit like that going on. Like, you gotta think though, niggas really don't give a fuck about that. Can't like, it's so much going on, there's so much money in prison. Some motherfucker might be storing niggas for some cash, or like, you might got some niggas like can't hold it on their own too. So you might be like, yeah, I'm gonna pay. I might pay these bloods. The goddamn be my protection. So like, if you pay a nigga, a nigga might be like, yeah, goddamn, oh yeah, he goddamn, he cool, he 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 fuck with us. Ain't that gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I can say, yeah, shit going on like that, but I'm not paying no nigga to protect me, bro. Like, what Facts. I'm a grown ass man, bro. Like, Facts. fuck no, I'm gonna stand on my own too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, of course, you can't be the game, but if you carry yourself how you supposed to, you ain't gotta worry about that situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, I feel like you know. A motherfucker can rec- real recognize real in any situation. Yeah, you don't gotta be the toughest nigga, but you can't be no mark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't be no bitch. For sure. Like Kendrick Bye. said, you can't act like no bitch. That only got Tyler Perry famous. You know <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, you can. I I can say extortion do go on, but it don't be on some shit like that. It might be on some on some crackers or some shit. A motherfucker who know. Who, who, who motherfucker might see the weakness in him be like, yeah, yo, his people got money. Like, yeah, you a uh, June June, yeah, you my June June. I got you. You're not gonna go on, but you gonna kick out this bread. Mm. Uh, yeah, like, I ain't the toughest nigga, but I'm not. Fuck no, I mean, I work too hard for this shit, man. Hell no. How the fuck they be like, damn, Vani was on the street slanking pistols, doing all this shit, but went to prison and scraped, bitch. No. Hell no. Vani went outside behind that wall. Went sad, like hell no. Fuck no, I can't go out like that. Facts. Facts. No cap. Like, what about niggas getting raped in prison, bro? Like, have you ever heard of a situation in SCDC where a nigga getting raped, like, by a motherfucker? Bro, I, done, I done been down for five years, bro. I never heard it. But I tell you this, I did. I I woke up the next morning and seen this old school black dude. I forgot his name. He had a white cellmate, but the old school black dude, he was strong. He was a junkie. He was talking about he smoked meth, crack, heroin, weed, whatever drug you got, he gonna smoke them. They forgot to say he raped his roommate, but niggas ain't believe until Sled walked through the door. And we went to like, you know, so we went over the rail to look in his room, man. It was blood and shit everywhere. What? So I'm like, I don't see like this nigga really raped his roommate. You know what I'm saying? But out of five years, that's the only gay incident I can say I already seen. I ain't seen, but you know what I'm saying, witness. Damn. Yeah, but other than that, like, fuck no, niggas got him. You know, niggas, hell no, niggas got phones. Niggas gonna, you know what I'm saying, porn hub, porn no. One for might get a girl to play on the pussy on the phone. Niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah niggas it ain't, ain't like the 80s where y'all niggas had with smut books. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> what about, <laughs> dog, like, you know, you eat really good in prison, dog. Like, yeah, you eat really, really, really good, bro. And 
I was telling somebody the other day, like, my dog fries every motherfucking thing behind that wall. Like, nigga fry yeah. burritos, fry fish, fry fish sticks, chicken. <laughs> bro, how the fuck did you make a fryer? Do they sell a fryer on canteen, bro? No, see, they got shit called hot pots. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's basically you boil water in it. You boil the water into the shit. But if you plug it up and without no water in it, it'll burn down just to the little, to like, to a little eye, you know what I'm saying? Just like the little heater. So we just burn them shits down, you know what I'm saying? And wrap, and just got them, basically got them, put the shit back together and it turns into a baby stove, you know what I'm saying? And you got motherfuckers who work in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? They be got them, they, they bring you flour, eggs, onions, you know what I'm saying? Like raw chicken, you know what I'm saying? Hamburger meat, you know what I'm saying? They basically steal all type of shit out of the kitchen. Some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? They got like, you no, know, we get fruit, so the big ass fruit can, like the big ass f- cans that the fruit come in, we take them and we cook in it. You know what I'm saying? That's like a, a pot for it. Uh, so she like, yeah. So like, we got a, I got a kitchen plug. He come through. You know what I'm saying? So hell, yeah, I'm talking about mac in the microwave, bro. I never knew I can cook so much shit in the microwave, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about like we make macaroni. Like we just they sell block cheese on canteen, so but we got they got macaroni noodles in the kitchen, so. You know what I'm saying? We get milk every morning, so like we make real macaroni. Motherfucker make nachos. Like it's so much shit you cook. Like I cook like like Thanksgiving where we had ham, fried chicken, fried fish, macaroni, collard greens, fried rice. Like and all that shit got cooked in the microwave, except for the fish and chicken. Like we cooked the chicken shit in the little pot I was telling you about, but everything else got cooked in the microwave. Like what? that shit like a like a gourmet meal. Like love it. I, yeah, I see motherfuckers made barbecue sauce and man, I'm talking about bourbon. I seen the bitch make bourbon sauce. I'm like, what the fuck? Damn. Yeah, it's like really this shit like this shit really teach you the goddamn art of survival. Yeah. That yeah. shit is like a jungle for real, bro. Yeah, like shit really teach the art of survival, bro. But like, I ain't gonna lie, like the four and this four and a half years I've been down, bro, like I done made so much money and lost so much money and made it back. It's crazy. Like, what they have to say about prison, but like, prison is a gold mine, bro. Like, it's so many ways to get money from selling food to hustling, like you hustling on the streets to goddamn scamming. I'm talking about like so much shit. Like, you can sell food. Like, I used to make plates and sell plates. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's you were selling plate. plates back in that motherfucker, bro? Yeah, yeah. $25 a plate. I'm talking about $25? Hell yeah. You got what the plate. fuck? And niggas buying it. I'm talking about fried fish, maybe fried fish, macaroni, devil eggs, and goddamn pork and beans and rice, twenty five dollars. Like, yeah, niggas gonna buy that bitch. I'm talking what about if this shit pork. nasty though, bro? <clears throat> Cause in yeah. prison, niggas is deadly. Like, you know, what if you fuck up a nigga plate? Like, bro, I don't like this shit, bro. You sold me a nasty ass plate for twenty five dollars. What is a nigga gonna do? Can you? Does a nigga? Do you have to give a nigga a refund? Fuck no. Tell him, man, go ahead. <laughs> Man, go ahead, bro. That shit wasn't that. So we might be like, man, I'll right, look out for you on the next play, bro. But if niggas not going to shout with you, they know you can't cook or they know you not clean. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, yeah, I like, I've been clean when I was home. So, like, when I came to prison and got down learned the recipe, I'm like that for real. Yeah. Yeah, so hell yeah, I'm talking about about three, four hundred, three, about down to the three to five hundred dollars every Saturday just off plates, bro. God you know damn. Saying? Yeah, yeah, that shit was so, like, it's different. Like, I seen one motherfucker, like, when I first got down to this yard, he was making, he was washing clothes, like, but instead of got, he was washing clothes for canteen, you know what I'm saying? He'll wash, he'd be, like, niggas wash clothes, but they don't wash, like, your drawers, you know what I'm saying? He wash your own drawers, but socks, t-shirts, and shorts, and pants, like, niggas will wash that. You know what I'm saying? He might try $5 a load, you know what I'm saying? And take the food and sell the food for money, you know what I'm saying? For cash out money. And he was saving his money on cash out, and bought a phone, and when he bought a phone, he started scamming. Now he up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. Like, I'm like, so I'm like, so when I seen that, I'm like, damn, but like, it's no way you could be broke in prison. Like, it's too many hustles for you to be broke in prison, bro. Niggas braid hair back there, dog. If he do, boy. Hey, niggas be braid. <laughs> think. NCD. <laughs> no way they have a haircut. They ain't going for that shit. Niggas ain't braid hair back there. If a nigga bring hell, boy, he she suspect. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out, money back there, brain hell, dog. Man, that nigga. I don't do that. That ain't brain nothing. 
Hell, I ain't even cut how you know I ain't breathing. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> but that's crazy. A nigga went from washing clothes to scamming, bro. Like, that shit yeah. wild, bro. Yeah, but that shit just, like, showed me, like, damn, this nigga determined. Like, this nigga a real hustler. You know what I'm saying? He probably ain't got that support on the streets like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I got support on the streets. Like, I used it when I first got down, I used to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I might call him on the streets and get some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm straight now, but... I ain't gonna lie, I might call in the streets just to see if a nigga do it like I done did it to most of the niggas I grew up with mm-hmm. and keep it a hundred only a percent of who did it like I done call a fella like boy I'm fucked up fella man no you ain't I'm like man for real bro I need a fifty dollar green dot man bye man I ain't got the phone ten minutes later he sent a picture of the green dot like yeah I know you ain't fucked up but here you go nigga like yeah I done did that shit for fella Shaq Lenzo might be Snoop you know what I'm saying my dog DP DJ like you know what I'm saying? Like, them boys that came through. Like, I remember I was real fucked up. Like, my bitch ran off with my money. She ran off with, like, three racks. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say a name, but bitch ran with, like, three racks, bro. And, like, I was fucked up. Like, fuck around and lost my phone. I called DJ and DP. Like, man, I lost my phone, bro. I need some money. Like, the niggas really went and gave me $500 a piece. Like, here, goddamn, I don't even want the money back. You know what I'm saying? Just, just get straight, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Power up. Like, so, like, I can say it's really, but it's been some niggas I done called. Like, boy, I need something. Boy, I ain't got it. I'm fucked up. And next thing you know, on Facebook, he on live, thumbing through a check. I'm like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even really need it. I just want to see if that love still was there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I done did it to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I done caught you, like, boy, I'm fucked up and get something. Boy, what's your cash app is? I'm like, I'm fucking with you, boy. But you, you know what I'm saying? But you done came to me like, damn, bro, you need something, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you need something, let me know. Like, I respect shit like that because I know if I'm ever fucked up, I could call you like, bro, I need to hold something, bro. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, even if, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that just real nigga shit, bro. Like, I, I when I first got there, when I ain't gonna lie, like, I done had niggas do it to me. And the crazy part is, I I was one of them niggas, I hate to say it like that, I'm keeping honey, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dog, act like little Ashton B, he done got that call, like, boy, send me a green dot, boy. I'm like, I got you. And it really did slip my mind, but I, like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even call me no more. He hit me like, like, I don't even need it, nigga. I just wanna see what you gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? But that's my boy, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, but now when I look back and you know, I'm saying I've been this bitch thinking I'm like damn my dog was locked up I ain't even seen no nothing you feel me like you got to think Quan and JJ and Ash and them boys been locked up way before me so I'm like damn bro that shit like now that I'm back I'm like damn boy I could have got down sent the boy just something off the screen you feel me mm-hmm. just to, just cause like just just cause bro you know what I'm saying but the crazy part is on some real shit bro I I rather ask a nigga back here to let me hold something before I ask a nigga on the street bro. Yeah. yeah, like, I called JJ, like, bro, you know, send me $100, bro. I, I'll get back to you. He be like, all right, send the information. You know what I'm saying? I called Cliff or Quan or Ashton, like, bro, I need to hold some. They going to send it, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and, like, me and little J-Po, you know what I'm saying? J-Po, he across the hall, little J-Po, we do that shit all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy, I, I ain't got no money on my card right now, bro. I'm waiting on my people to load my shit up. Send me $100. All right, here you go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, uh, niggas back here move for you before a nigga on the street with you, bro, and that shit's sad, bro. like, damn, bro, like, Them niggas trying to understand, though. Like, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, cause they can't get with me, but, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, you the street, you know what I'm saying, it's a different hustle, like, shit slow up back here, so it might be a drought, ain't nothing going on, you can't do no hustling going on, I might need you for something important, it might be for food, you know what I'm saying, it might be for some shit I need, you know what I'm saying, I might need to go to the store and buy hygiene, you know what I'm saying, but, and you saying you got me, but don't got me, like, that shit make you look at a nigga different. Yeah. Definitely, bro. That would make me look at a nigga different, too. Especially when you know I ain't got no other way to get no yeah. money. Like, you can go to your I job have, and get a check. Yeah, I done had motherfuckers running off with money, bro. I'm talking about crazy shit. Like, I'm talking about racks. I done had females run off with racks. I done had females give me racks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's really different. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it shit, this prison shit really opened up your eyes to a lot of shit. You know who for you and who not for you. You feel me? Like, Shit, real though, but like, yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This shit, I can't wait to get this shit over. I'm tired of this shit. I can only imagine, bro. Like, yeah. going through, going through, going through the motions, bro. Like, seeing, cause you know, with technology, bro, you can see everything. Yeah. You can literally see niggas grow up. Like, yeah. niggas, niggas, you went to the streets. They, 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 they. Your homeboy girlfriend might have been pregnant. Now they kid, four, five years old. You know what I'm saying? Like About to start baby. school. My niece and nephew grew up so quick. Like, I tell them, like, damn, I was home. Y'all was babies, you know what I'm saying? Like, they grown now. Like, my nephew called me, like, what you doing? Like, nah. like yeah, send me some money from goddamn Robux. So, God, I'm like, God damn, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, like, fella, bro. I told fella, like, fella, we was out there fucking, bro, but we couldn't have kids. Like, bro, our sperm went kicking. Our fella got three kids. I'm like, damn, fella, you got three kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy. Like, my little sister got a daughter, so I'd be like, damn, bro, like, so much shit that happened in four years, bro. Like, that shit be blowing me. I'd be like, damn, this shit crazy, bro. I'm, I'm missing so much shit, bro. But then again, I'd be like, so much shit that happened in four years, so I'd be like, damn, it's kind of good that I sit back, you know what I'm saying, not good I'm in prison, but it might be a reason I'm back here, bro, because, like, that's that situation, I already know, bro, I was being head first off top, the same shit, like, I think, bro, like, I've been back here down in four and a half years, bro, I done lost Stacks, I lost CeeLo, I lost TP, I lost Trey G, I lost IG, I lost my uncle, you know what I'm saying, like, Delph's, like, I'm talking about, like, I lost TP, Trey G, Stacks, IG and C low within a year, within a year or two, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit fucked me. I'm talking about like it seemed like every other month I was hearing by somebody dying. I'm like, damn, then I lost my uncle last year. Like me and my uncle, like like I said, I was like a father figure. He was like my you know what I'm saying, like my right hand man. So it's like I be saying that, like, damn, bro, like it's no way, like all this shit happened, you know what I'm saying? Then on top of them, me losing them, I'm I'm losing money, fucking off with bitches, or goddamn trusting niggas with some shit and shit ain't going right. Like that shit stress, like that stress build up it. Like if you ain't mentally strong, bro, that shit really get to you, you know what I'm saying? Then you gotta think about being locked down. Some shit might go on in the yard. We might be locked down for thirty days. I'm talking about no canteen. You might get a shower twice a week if you're lucky. You know what I'm saying? When you run out of canteen, like, I don't eat state food, period, bro, unless I got to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't eat probably state food. My whole beard, I probably ate, probably like, no exaggeration, probably like five steak trays. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No, I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't, I done ate more than that because I went to lock up for like two weeks and I was punishing them bitches. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, that shit, like, so much shit come with shit. Like, motherfuckers be like, oh, y'all got phones. Y'all be drinking. Y'all be smoking. Like, yeah, that shit might look lit to y'all on the outside. Like, yeah, y'all living. But back here, this shit, man, this shit, you do shit like that to make the time go by. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like if I might be in, my, man, you might be in the, out there smoking, playing cards. And the next day, you might be in a riot and die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I done seen niggas in the same six turn on each other. Like, I done seen niggas in the same gang turn on each other, bro. Like, yeah, the niggas out there having a discussion one day. And the next day, they running the nigga out the dorm. I'm like, damn, y'all was just cool. Yesterday, dapping each other up, cooking the setup. Now you trying to kill a man. Like, so, like, this shit, I be like, you know what I'm saying? This shit, this shit is not what it seems like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you might have a phone, that shit, yeah, but you gotta think that shit ain't promised tomorrow. Motherfucker might come and take that bitch tomorrow. They gotta find out how I'm gonna pay another thousand dollars for a phone, you feel me? And that shit vicious, bro. Like yeah, shit. that shit vicious, bro. Cause you, you really like like you lo- like you losing your homies, bro. You can't go to their funerals. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You lose a family member, bro. You can't go to their funerals, bro. You can't go to their funerals, bro. You can't go see them, bro. You can't you know what I mean? Pay your respects to them. You can't go see their families and shit like that. Big milestones in your family members' lives. Excuse me. You can't be there for it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that shit got to fuck with you, bro. And then you you, you behind the wall losing best friends, bro. Like, that shit got to hurt, bro. And you, it's nothing you can do about it. You nothing can't retaliate you. or pay respect. Or <laughs> like, I ain't going to lie. Like, that dude was like big losses for me. Because, Fair, like, I can just imagine. Like, yeah, like. I think, but like DP, I mean, like goddamn, like Stash, that was a brother. TP and Trey G, them was brothers, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody lost his brother. Like, when I lost IG, I think IG from the one side, bro. But, you know, I used to be out there in the colonies with them gambling shit. Like, I look at IG like a brother, him and DP and DJ. Like, them niggas, like, brothers than me, bro. So, like, when I lost IG, like, that shit, but like, damn, I lost Stash. And I forgot I lost IG. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I lost Stash. Then I lost CeeLo. Then I lost IG. I'm like, damn, bro, like, that shit hit. Then a couple months, I lost TP and Trey G, so, like, damn, bro. It's like, I ain't losing niggas, like, oh, damn, I know that nigga, bro. Then he died, damn, that's crazy. Like, it's like, damn, I lost niggas. I call my brothers, bro, like, that shit hurt, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? You can cry all you want to, but damn, like, you gotta be like, damn, like, only time I can see these niggas is I call somebody, like, man, go to the grave side, or, like, if I want to see the funeral, I gotta call somebody at the funeral and tell them to hold the phone up so I can watch the funeral through FaceTime, like, that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, and you can't. It's like it's no, it's no grieving back here, bro. You might be like, damn, I lost somebody. Motherfucker might be like, all right, fucking niggas might. You might be like, damn, I just lost my goddamn uncle. I'm about to get drunk, 
smoke these cigarettes, cry today, and the next day is back to regular schedule programming. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no goddamn, I'm in the house crying two, three days. Like, you got to think, oh, damn, I'm in prison, but I got to snap back to reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. no grievance. So, like, it's really no grievance going on. Like, it's self grievance. Like, that shit might hit, hit me out the blue. Like, man, I might hang up the phone with you right now and be like, damn, bro, I really lost these niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, this shit crazy. And the next day, I might be back to it. Like, damn, the dough about to pop. I got to get back on my mental, you know what I'm saying? Anything might happen, you feel me? So, like, yeah, this shit is a lot that come with this shit, bro. Like, I see what motherfuckers be like, yeah, I always death for prison on my worst enemy. Like, I see why motherfuckers say that, boy, for real. I, Bonnie, I can, I, can, I can only imagine, dog. Like, bro, that's no place no black, no black man should be, bro. Like, unless he raped the motherfucker or molested the kids. Mm-hmm. Man. There ain't no place no black man should be, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel, I feel as if you don't deserve the type of time that you got, bro. Like, yeah, honestly I mean, and truthfully speaking, I bro, like, I really I mean, feel like you don't deserve that shit, bro. Like, that shit is I mean, fucked up. I don't, I don't talk to a couple of lawyers and I was like, damn, like, like my, my dog, DJ, he talked to DJ Carson. Carson was like, damn, he got 15 years with it, kill a motherfucker. Like, hell no. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, he like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But, this shit so crazy, bro. It's like, I want to fight it, like, because, like, motherfuckers, like, niggas might go back on the pill or PCR, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, but I'm a lot, I, I tried to go for the PCR, but I got denied the first time, then the second time I got approved, but motherfuckers are some shit like, yeah, like, if you go back to court, it's a whole new case, so you can goddamn go back to court from zero, even from zero to 46 years, like, you either get time cut, you can get more time. So, in my head, I'm like, damn, I got caught right here. Like, what the fuck? I'm not about to go back and frame these people. And I caught 15 and go back and goddamn catch 45, 80 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah, no. Yeah. So, like, fuck, I'm going to figure it out. But, like, like, motherfuckers don't know. It's a bunch of niggas from the north. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say their name. But it's a bunch of niggas from the north back here that's coming home soon. But, like, they don't even know it. Like, yeah, like, real soon, bro. But. We know it's so crazy that like, if you look at it, bro, we lost so many niggas to the graveyard. But then again, we lost so many niggas to the system, bro. Like, oh, yeah, I think, bro, we was young when JJ got, when JJ caught 50 years, bro. Mm-hmm. We was young when Quan caught 20, 20, 25 years, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think little Ashton, little Ashton B, he was down there, what, 16, 17 when he caught eight years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had little just JJ. graduated from high school, bro. You know what I'm saying? Little Cliff, little Cliff was 16, 17, caught goddamn 20 years, young age. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas was losing niggas. Like, how we look at it, like, damn, we lost a nigga, we got him. But niggas might say, yeah, we got you, I'm gonna ride this beard out with you, but it's not two niggas that really gonna ride that beard out with you, bro. Like, Mm-mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How I feel personally, bro, if I if, if I wasn't buying cell phones, I, I wouldn't be in contact with nobody, probably with my brother and, and, and goddamn fella and DJ, you know, like, Motherfuckers who might put minutes on the phone for me. Most motherfuckers ain't taking the time out to put minutes on the phone. Like, most of the niggas ain't gonna take the time out. Just like, I'm gonna get you a green dot just because. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah, a fact. Man. That's a man. fact, bro. How, and you know, me and JJ talked about that, you know, when we did our interview. And he was just basically saying, like, you know, he was a very loyal dude. You know what I mean? He showed a lot of loyalty, a lot of love to a lot of people. And he was like, I was asking him, like, you know, most of them people ain't even there for you right now. You know, ain't, ain't even answering your calls or, or ain't even hit you up to even try to get in touch with you or hit your people up. And I was like, how does it make you feel? And he was just like, man, this shit crazy, but I'll do the shit again. All the shit that I did, the loyalty and love that I showed, I'll show it again and do the same thing again because that's me. Yo, that's just me. I'm going to say that's me. Like, you can't, you can't change a nigga who's so solid from the beginning, bro. Like, that's a fact. You, know, you got to think, though, like, I respect JJ so much because he took he got 50 into that shit with a chin up. Most motherfuckers probably would have killed they say or be down sad as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like like me, bro, I, it took me a minute to get just to this 15 years, bro. I want not shit like, oh, I got 15 years, I'm about to throw this shit. I want some shit like, damn, man, like, I gotta go do this shit every day. I gotta do this shit every day, man. This shit, same routine. I'm on the same nigga. The motherfuckers dying, man. This shit, I ain't gonna make it. Like, till motherfucker had a conversation with JJ and Quan. Like, yeah, bro. Like, this, this, these the dudes, these don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tighten up and get your shit straight. Like, so it really took me, like, I say about, I say about four months to really adjust to this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, damn, time flying by. I'll be home sooner or later. You know what I'm saying? And with so much shit going on, like me personally, I got drug charges, bro. So like, I don't be really waiting on the Senate to pass the bill, you know what I'm saying, for drug charges or a drop to 85, 65%, you know what I'm saying? So 
either one of them happened to me, bro, I'll probably be living that two, three years. I'll be back out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I know I, I'm so I'm ready to come home. But at, then again, I gotta sit back and evaluate. Like, all right, these to do, these these don't when I go out. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be better than I was before because I refuse to go back out there and do the same shit that got me in here now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. so, That's yeah, a fact. Like, that shit, I ain't gonna lie. I keep a hundred. That shit, that shit. It's it's really a mental thing, bro. But like, yeah, like I talked to them boys that with JJ mad at me right now. <laughs> Motherfucker, he blocked me, but I'll probably talk to his ass tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but shit, yeah, this shit, this shit real, bro. But then it, the streets, bro, like the north done grew so much. Like I'm proud of niggas out there. To be honest, right now, man. Yeah, a lot of shit changed, bro. Like, yeah. Bonnie, it's, of course, you see it. You know, you you literally see it every time some yeah. shit go on, bro. Like, but just the whole vibe and everything, bro. Just, just Bonnie, remember years ago, we might it might be 30 of us, and 15 of us might not have no money, and the rest of the bros might be up. Like, coming around the bros, now nah, everybody got some paper now. Yeah, I that love that shit, shit crazy, bro. Like I never thought I'd see the day where all the bros that have some motion, like some money. Even the love bros, like love bros, niggas who didn't have shit to niggas who got you know what I mean? Like, of course you already know. Zoe was gonna always have him some paper. You know what I'm saying? Snoop was gonna always have him a little something too. One and then the other Zoe niggas. Is, but everybody Zoe having some money crazy. now. Everybody having some money now, like bro, everybody. That shit crazy, like. I've been looking at that shit. I've been on the pool. I've been talking to the niggas on FaceTime. Like, boy, everybody got motion, boy. I love that shit, bro. I'm like, damn, boy. Like, yeah, Zoe and Tick, y'all taking off with the music. You got a fella behind and taking off with the music. Mm -hmm. Lil Keith and taking off with the music. You know what I'm saying? Lil Ray G taking off. But then you, again, you got motherfuckers hush. Like, motherfuckers who never sold a pack before up. Oh, now nah, like, damn, like, like, damn, right? That's why I be, I tell them niggas like, every, almost every other day, like, yeah, bro, I'm proud of you, bro. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell yeah. It's wild, bro. Even you too, though. I think, bro, like you, you was a street nigga, but you was never a street nigga, bro. Like you, you done started a whole, I said, whole business. We got a whole podcast that's booming, bro. Like, yeah, like I, I really tune into your shit. I really be have my roommate looking at your shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? My roommate was up right now. He can rap two Lenzo and Tick songs off top. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like niggas really fuck that shit. Like, I be telling niggas like, yeah, these my niggas from my six. Like, I play that music, play that niggas hear that music. Like, yeah, tune in this nigga, tune in the fella. You know what I'm saying? Tune in the Ray G. You know what I'm saying? Like. Motherfuckers like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I tell niggas, like, yeah, bro, I'm proud of y'all niggas, bro. I just tell niggas, don't crash, bro. That's all I ask y'all niggas. Don't crash to come back here. Yeah. Boy. I agree, dog. I'm proud, of, I'm proud of everybody, too, bro. And I know when you come home, man, you're going to do something good, bro. Because, you know, out of all the bros, like, that's behind the wall or that done been behind the wall and shit like that, man. You know, I've been trying to get you on the podcast, bro. You my nigga. Yeah. And I feel like you do more good out here than you can in there. You know what yeah. I mean? Because anytime, like, Vonnie, you, you always been a good dude, bro. Like, fuck just a nigga that's going to ride. I'm talking about just a good nigga in general. Like, a nigga can be fucked up. They know Vonnie going to come through. Like, don't give a damn. Sure. If Vonnie got $50, boy, and you need a dub, Vonnie going to get that motherfucker to you, bro. That's a fact. You gonna talk mm. shit now, and I'm gonna want my dude back. Yeah, but you gonna get it to a nigga. You feel me? Sweet show, sweet but show. You always been a good nigga though, man. You always been a good nigga and a real dude. Like, you see, a lot of people talk about real. A lot of people talk about real, real this, real that. I'm a real nigga. I'm a real this. But a lot of niggas ain't really who they say that they are, man. And Thanks. the people that I have that I'm having on my show. That's behind the wall or was behind the wall. That's an actual friend of mine. That's somebody that I know. It's somebody that I feel like can do more good on the streets than they can behind the wall. And you one of them yeah. people, dog. Straight up. Like, I feel like you can do more good out here than you would in there, bro. Because you always been a nigga that you made dumbass decisions, but you were always smart. You feel me? You were always a smart dude and you always... You were cognizant of exactly what the fuck you were doing, bro. You knew what you were doing. Like, you knew sure. what you was doing was going to get your ass some time. You knew you could get, you know what I'm saying? But you you were aware of that shit, and you, but you still did it. And that's the best type of person to be in any situation because you were aware of your actions. So it's like you ain't in the blind when it comes to whatever consequences come with your actions. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. But, you know, bro, what... Before before we before we dip, man, before we end this conversation, bro, you know, first and foremost, I want to say thank you, bro, for coming on and just sharing your story, bro, about your experience, bro, in prison, your life, 
the decisions that led you to your 15 year prison sentence you know what i'm saying your vulnerability and stuff like that and just taking us through the journey of prison with you man like and before we go like what is something that you want to leave the people with as far as like the biggest lesson that you've learned from all of this this five years that you've had behind the wall like what's the biggest lesson you've learned from that shit bro be honest, bro. The biggest lesson I done learned, bro, to keep it all with hundred birds to be yourself, bro. Mm. That's to be a hundred, be yourself. Like to me, like I say, bro, when I was out there young doing shit, I was doing shit to prove shit to motherfuckers. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Instead of me being, you know what I'm saying, like anything, I was being myself, yeah, but in the beginning, I was trying to be something I'm not, bro. But eventually, I turned into that person, you know what I'm saying? Like, so with me saying that, like, bro, the street shit ain't for you, bro. Don't be a street nigga, bro. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you got, if you a street nigga, but you got a way out the streets, take that route, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you a school nigga, keep your ass in school, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, it is more, it ain't gonna like, it's more than life, bro. And it's like, I'm missing so much shit in life that I wish I could have did different, bro. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But this is a lesson learned, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, yeah, bro, like, that just be yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stay motivated. Stay on the grind, bro. If you got to get your ass on a nine to five, do it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it take to be successful, bro. Because this shit here, like you know what I'm saying, life is not forever. You know what I'm saying? We're going to die one day. And for me to have 15 years taken away from me, bro, just because I want to have a street image. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit really fucks with me. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? That's basically it. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself, bro. Word. A lot of you niggas need to be ourselves. You 30-year-old niggas. You niggas that's damn near touching 30, that want to jump off the porch, want to be shooters, want to be drug dealers, want to be street niggas, and you was not a street nigga before you, ter- before you were old enough to buy cigarettes or drink, sit the fuck down, bro. Please, like sit the fuck down. Because it's too late to be a street nigga, dog. It's too fucking late. That shit ain't for you, man. You take your ass, get a nine to five, and goddamn, go home and play games with your kids, motherfucker. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You going outside? You know what I'm saying? You getting slapped by street niggas in the trap house, <laughs> but you still want to come around, man. Listen, man, it ain't for you, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you listen. It ain't for everybody. Listen, I was a nigga that was in the streets, hung with street niggas, did street nigga shit, caught a case, and said this shit ain't for me. Stood tall, didn't tell on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Didn't tell on a nigga, ain't go outside, can't no nigga ever say Quan went out, Quan or Shaq went outside in no situation, you know what I'm saying? You gotta think, you gotta respect that, bro, you got that caught a case, like, man, this shit ain't for me, this pretty, you know what I'm saying, jail ain't, this shit ain't for me, and you did that, you ain't telling nobody nothing, you beat your case, you did, you did, and you converted, bro, you feel me? That's some grown man shit, you know what I'm saying? And I was 16. Exactly, A lot of niggas ain't gonna, and a lot of niggas can't keep it solid. A lot of niggas... My thing be with niggas, bro, like, I be seeing a lot of niggas on the internet talk about 6 9 I be seeing niggas talk about um, niggas ratting and snitching, and I'm like, my nigga, Whole time. you got yeah. homies that ratted on niggas, bro, and you ain't doing nothing to them niggas. And Dang. you niggas never caught no cases for real, because if you niggas would have really caught a case, you would have told on a nigga, bro. Feel me? Dang. If you had a code defender, you would have told on him, bro. Period. That's one thing though. They told me they say, man, you know what I'm saying? You can goddamn do, tell on this person. Tell just give us somebody who you know that got something going on. We can goddamn chop your time down. I look like, man, come on, man, get the fuck out of hell. No, that's why a lot of niggas say that shit. Like, boy, you took your 15 to 10. You ain't telling nobody. You know what I'm saying? You could have did this. You could have did that. You kept that shit a hundred. Like, you know what I'm saying? Feds could have picked up my case and all, but just because of the gun with the trafficking. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm like, bro, I'm too solid for that shit. Like, I, like you said earlier in the interview, bro, I know what comes with this shit, bro. You feel me? So I'm going to take my time like a, like a man. I'm not about to tell on the next man. And he ain't got shit because he, he he got shit going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, hell no. I'm going to take this shit. I'm going to throw this shit. And when I come home, it's up there. Yeah, facts. You're going to come home and turn up on these niggas because you learned so much behind that wall, boy. Facts. That you can apply to, to, to your real life. Facts. Facts, bro. Vondo, tell the people, man, where they can get in touch with you, man, where the bitches can send their panties to. If the hoes want to send you some, um, if a bitch want to send you some canteen money or send you a Zaxby's tray, because you know y'all niggas be in Zaxby's and Wendy's and shit back there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo. So. <laughs> no, man. Just tell my fuck, just add me on the book, man. 
had me on the book. My, I ain't gonna lie, I had to switch my name up. My shit kept getting clapped. So my shit Koto Mention on the book now, man. K O T O M I N S O N. Add me, that's Vondo, you know what I'm saying? Like, hit me on Instagram, Vondo underscore Yola. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with. You know what I'm saying? If you want some information, pull up on me, I got you. Yeah, man. Follow my dog. Fuck with my dog, man. And again, Vondo, bro, I appreciate you, bro. Like, right, I learned man. a lot about you, my nigga. Yeah, for sure. But shit, this ain't the only interview. We're going to do another one. You know, I'm going to tap back in with you. Yeah, for sure. We definitely got to do a check-in, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely yeah, got to do a check-in, bro, man. And I want to say, man, I love you, nigga. And, and I hope, you know what I'm saying, you behind that wall, man. You stay safe like you been doing, man. And, and, and do some push-ups and sit-ups, nigga. Cause your ass get fat as hell. <laughs> and the only time I'm gonna push up and sit up is when I got them big that spoon in the bowl. You hear me? <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> you know I love you too, my nigga. This shit for life, my boy. For hell, bro. You already know, man. For sure, muddy waters. We out. <laughs>